The helium dimer is a van der Waals molecule with formula He2 consisting of two helium atoms. This molecule is the largest with two atoms, and is only very weakly bound together. The bond is so weak that it will break if the molecule rotates or vibrates too much. It can only exist at very low cryogenic temperatures. Two excited helium atoms can also bond to each other in a form called an eczema. This was discovered from a spectrum of helium that contained bands first seen in 1912, written as He2 asterisk with the asterisk meaning an excited state, it was the first known Rydberg molecule. Dihelium ions also exist with a negative, positive and double positive charge. Two helium atoms can be confined together without bonding in the cage of a fullerene molecule. Based on molecular orbital theory, He2 should not exist, and a chemical bond cannot form between the atoms. However, the van der Waals force exists between helium atoms as shown by the existence of liquid helium, and at a certain range of distances between atoms the attraction exceeds the repulsion. So a molecule composed of two helium atoms bound by the van der Waals force can exist. The existence of this molecule was proposed as early as 1930. He2 is the largest known molecule of two atoms when in its ground state, due to its extremely long bond length. The He2 molecule has a large separation distance between the atoms of about 5200 pm. This is the largest for a diatomic molecule without rho vibronic excitation. The binding energy is only about 1.3 mK, 10-7 electron volts or 1.1 times 10-5 kilocalories per mole. The bond is 5,000 times weaker than the covalent bond in the hydrogen molecule. Both helium atoms in the dimer can be ionized by a single photon with energy 63.86 electron volts. The proposed mechanism for this double ionization is that the photon ejects an electron from one atom, and then that electron hits the other helium atom and ionizes that as well. The dimer then explodes as two helium cations ions repel each other with the same speed but opposite directions. A dihelium molecule bound by van der Waals forces was first proposed by John Clark Slater in 1928. Formation The helium dimer can be formed in small amounts when helium gas expands and cools as it passes through a nozzle in a gas beam. Only the isotope 4-He can form molecules like this, 4-He-3-He and 3-He-3-He do not exist, as they do not have a stable bound state. The amount of the dimer formed in the gas beam is of the order of 1%. Molecular ions He2 pluses are related ion bonded by a half covalent bond. It can be formed in a helium electrical discharge. It recombines with electrons to form an electronically excited He2 eczema molecule. Both of these molecules are much smaller with more normal sized interatomic distances. The helium decation dimer He22 plus is extremely repulsive and would release much energy when it dissociated, around 835 kJ per mole. Dynamical stability of the ion was predicted by Linus Pauling. An energy barrier of 33.2 kcal per mole prevents immediate decay. This ion is isoelectronic with a hydrogen molecule. He22 plus is the smallest possible molecule with a double positive charge. It is detectable using mass spectroscopy. The negative helium dimer He2 minus is metastable, lasting over 1 microsecond, and can be formed when He2 plus captures two electrons from cesium atoms in vapor or nitrogen molecules. The molecular helium anion is also found in liquid helium that has been excited by electrons with an energy level higher than 22 electron volts. This takes place firstly by penetration of liquid He, taking 1.2 electron volts, followed by excitation of a He atom electron to the 3p level which takes 19.8 electron volts. The electron can combine with another helium atom and the excited helium atom to form He2-. He2- ripples helium atoms, and so has a void around it. It will tend to migrate to a surface. 
eczemas. In a normal helium atom, two electrons are found in the 1s orbital. However, if sufficient energy is added, one electron can be elevated to a higher energy level. This high energy electron can become a valence electron, and the electron that remains in the 1s orbital is a core electron. Two excited helium atoms can react with a covalent bond to form a molecule called dihelium that lasts for short times of the order of a microsecond, up to second or so. Excited helium atoms in the 23s state can last for up to an hour, and react like alkali metal atoms. The first clues that dihelium exists were noticed in 1900 when W. Huser observed a band spectrum in a helium discharge. However, no information about the nature of the spectrum was published. Independently, E. Goldstein from Germany and W. E. Curtis from London published details of the spectrum in 1913. Curtis was called away to military service in World War I, and the study of the spectrum was continued by Alfred Fowler. Fowler recognized that the doubled-headed bands fell into two sequences analogous to principal and diffuse series in line spectra. The emission band spectrum shows a number of bands that degrade towards the red, meaning that the lines thin out and the spectrum weakens towards the longer wavelengths. Only one band with a green band head at 5732A degrades towards the violet. Other strong band heads are at 6400, 4649, 4626, 4546, 4157.8, 3777, 3677, 3665, 3356.5, and 3340. 8.5a. There are also some headless bands in extra lines in the spectrum. Weak bands are found with heads at 5133 and 5108. If the valence electron is in 2s, 3s or 3d, a1 sigma u state results, and if in 2p, 3p or 4p, a1 sigma g state results. The ground state is x1 sigma g plus. The three lowest triplet states of He2 have designations A3 sigma U, B3 pi G and C3 sigma G. The A3 sigma U state with no vibration has a long metastable lifetime of 18s, much longer than the lifetime for other states or inert gas eczemas. The explanation is that the A3 sigma U state has no electron orbital angular momentum, as all the electrons are in s orbitals for the helium state. The lower lying singlet states of He2 are A1 sigma U, B1 pi G and C1 sigma G. The eczema molecules are much smaller and more tightly bound. For the A1 sigma U state, the binding energy is around 2.5 electron volts, with a separation of 103, 9 pm. The C1 sigma G state has a binding energy 0.643 electron volts and the separation between atoms is 109, 1 pm. These two states have a repulsive range of distances with a maximum around 300 pm, where if the excited atoms approach, they have to overcome an energy barrier. The spectrum of the He2 eczema contains bands due to a great number of lines due to transitions between different rotation rates and vibrational states. Combined with different electronic transitions, the lines can be grouped into P, Q and R branches. But the even-numbered rotational levels do not have Q branch lines, due to both nuclei being spin zero. Numerous electronic states of the molecule have been studied, including Rydberg states with the number of the shell up to 25. Helium discharge lamps produce vacuum ultraviolet radiation from helium molecules. When high-energy protons hit helium gas, it also produces UV emission at around 600 A by the decay of excited highly vibrating molecules of He2 in the A1 sigma U state to the ground state. 
The UV radiation from excited helium molecules is used in the pulse discharge ionization detector which is capable of detecting the contents of mixed gases at levels below parts per billion. The Hopfield continuum is a band of ultraviolet light between 600 and 1000 A in wavelength formed by photodissociation of helium molecules. One mechanism for formation of the helium molecules is firstly a helium atom becomes excited with one electron in the 21s orbital. This excited atom meets two other non-excited helium atoms in a three-body association and reacts to form a A1 sigma U state molecule with maximum vibration and a helium atom. Helium molecules in the quintet state 5 sigma plus G can be formed by the reaction of two spin polarized helium atoms in He states. This molecule has a high energy level of 20 electron volts. The highest vibration level allowed is V equals 14. Clusters. He too can form van der Waals compounds with other atoms forming bigger clusters such as 24 MGHE2 and 40 KE2. The helium-4 trimer, a cluster of three helium atoms, is predicted to be in an Efimov state. Cage. Two helium atoms can fit inside larger fullerenes, including C70 and C84. These can be detected by the nuclear magnetic resonance of 3 He having a small shift, and by mass spectrometry. C84 with enclosed helium can contain 20% He2 at C84, whereas C78 has 10% and C76 has 8%. The larger cavities are more likely to hold more atoms. Even when the two helium atoms are placed closely to each other in a small cage, there is no chemical bond between them. The presence of two He atoms in a C60 fullerene cage is only predicted to have a small effect on the reactivity of the fullerene. The effect is to have electrons withdrawn from the endohedral helium atoms, giving them a slight positive charge to produce He2 delta plus, which have a stronger bond than uncharged helium atoms.